It's DJ Stick with Sticks Entertainment here in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm a local DJ KJ, service in the Tennessee Valley. Uh, made a rather large purchase here a couple weeks ago. Bought myself a new DJ trailer. Uh, this is not it though. This is the old one. This is a 5x10 square nose, single axle. Max weight trailer and all, not to exceed 2,990 pounds. Uh, what I had just got to be too much for this little bitty trailer. I used this one for about three years on my big wedding setups. I was packing this thing from top to bottom, front to back, and it I just needed something bigger. So I bought this one. This is a 7x14 tandem axle, blackout edition, seven foot tall. As you can see, I've already put lights up underneath it. I bought it two weeks ago this past Sunday. So all in all, 16 days ago. In that 16 days, I put the lights up underneath it. I have, you'll see, let me walk you around here. I put down the Rust-Oleum epoxy shield, gray tint floor with the paint chips in it. I put down this aluminum transition piece, this diamond plate transition piece to kill the gap it raises up every time you raise the door it raises up automatically every time you drop the back door it covers that transition to allow the gear to be moved in and out easier uh, inside i've installed a ton of e-track you see it all over the walls this stuff is not cheap not to brag but that costs a small fortune in itself I also established this uh, rigging system to prevent having to use cargo straps on everything. Uh, two by sixes with e track on the inside. Allows me to put two by fours in between to, to secure everything in place, keep it from sliding around. Don't really have to worry about it jumping up and down unless you hit a set of railroad tracks doing 30, 40 mile an hour. You don't have to worry about this stuff leaving the floor. Uh, I installed these lights white leds in the middle rgb rock lights on the outside uh pretty much the length of the trailer um walk you around to the front i'll show you the switches and stuff to turn those on uh, before i get too far also got this camera system for backing the trailer up i got two cameras one shines straight down allows me to see the ground directly behind the trailer uh, the other camera shines at about 45 degrees. Let's me see anything that I'm backing up on. So I'm pretty much, unless I'm just really, really not paying attention, guaranteed not to hit anything. I installed uh, a 12 inch LED light on either side for reverse light. So putting the truck in reverse basically turns on the sun, helps me see everything. Walk around to the front. Side door here. I built this shelf. Um, it, it is actually not fixed to the wall with anything but the e, e track brackets. I'd have to take the shelf apart to get it off of the brackets, but it keeps me from putting more holes in the wall than I, what I really want to. Uh, show you the lighting system. So over here, I installed four switches. Each switch is a three position maintained switch, which means that once I turn the switch to a given position, it maintains that position until I physically turn it to another position. So these two are currently the only two that have any load on them. These two are wired, but they don't have a, a, a load or a battery cell to it. So that I've got tow vehicle power, but not alternate battery power. So... I installed this 12 volt Milwaukee battery, supplying these two switches on the right side. So if I turn this switch to the right, the white lights will turn on. If I turn it to the left, the white lights will turn on using the tow vehicle power. If I turn this one to the right, the RGB rock lights will turn on. If I turn it to the left, they'll turn on using the tow vehicle power. As I said, I'm using this 12 volt Milwaukee battery that is wired in using a power wheels adapter. So I just squeeze, 
pull that out now i no longer have the right side of my switches because there's no power source put it back in once again you got lights uh, first thing i did was painted the walls white though you can see that the white walls really set off the rgb lighting Makes it look really good when I'm loading up after a show, midnight, 1, 2 a.m. Uh, draws a lot of attention. As you can see, I've also got the, uh, the LED lights underneath my truck. I'll show you the camera system to the inside. Forgive the motion sickness. So you can see two cameras, you know, this, this camera here shines straight down at the ground. This camera here shines out at a 45 degree angle. I'll never own another enclosed trailer and not have a camera system on it. That's how much I love that. But anyway, if there's any questions, got any comments, would like to see any further content on maybe some of the stuff that you've seen in this video feel free to let me know in the comments uh, be happy to answer any questions you might have you know if you've enjoyed what you've seen please consider liking the video and maybe even subscribing like i said i, I don't mind putting out further content surrounding what i've done in here and what there, there's more still to come what it is i don't know but we'll figure it out when we get there <laughs>